In my previous video, I stated that social media would be the demise of many people. And uh, I was really pointing my finger at rich people and particularly people on drugs, rappers, uh, etc. Now, the latest um, victim of that is NBA Youngboy. So, alongside social media being a downfall to most rappers, uh, there is a target on young, rich, black rappers uh, like Kodak Black. We've seen this. Uh, they go to jail, get out of jail, go back to jail. Um, next minute, they end up dead. All they wanted was their money. They used them, got them to sell their soul. And, you know, the story goes on. It duplicates itself. We've seen this movie a million times. Now, NBA Youngboy is probably the hottest rapper uh, for streams, radio play. Right now, it's someone that uh, the youth, the millennials, uh, look up to. And this is very disturbing and very... Uh, very, very surprising to hear these accusations from Dage Rose. Now, Dage Rose's mom, to be exact. For people who don't know who Dage Rose is, she used to date Kodak Black. And Dage Rose is a very, very fine young lady. Now, her mom just got sick and tired of what NBA young boy uh, is personifying. She's like, it's all fake. He's a demon. Worst of all, NBA Youngboy is a woman beater. He beat Dage Rose's ass. And her mom has pictures. And she said, this guy does this for a living. He get all these women to you know, fall in love with him and get them to fight it out for him. If they don't want to do it, he kicked their asses out of his life. Alongside that, we all know the herpes rumors about NBA Youngboy. There's a lot of demons, and he's very young, four kids. This is a stressful situation, but worst of all is that she has threatened to put his ass in jail because she has all the proof that is needed to lock him up for a very long time. And I keep telling people, I'm going to say it one more time, the social media is created for your downfall. The feds run this. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, be careful what you say, do, and post because now... We're in quarantine where everybody's live, including Days Rose's mom. So let's hear her spill the entire bean, beans on NBA Youngboy and prove that this guy that everybody thinks is, is truly North. On Facebook, y'all watch me. I'm not a drama person. I'm not agree I, I like kodak you know what i mean and i like fredo i i liked it them all but once you put your hands on my daughter and beat my daughter black and blue like this we got a problem this man needs to be behind, needs to be behind bars and i'm telling y'all y'all don't know the truth but i bet y'all any amount of money he has something to do with Yaya and that girl fighting. I'm telling y'all, because he did the same thing with my daughter. He tried to make my daughter beat up Kay and beat up um, Yaya in the back house. And the, they call it the back house. That's what he do. He got all these girls over there, and he make he wants to get make them all fight. And if you don't fight, he kick them. He get he kick them out. He kick them out. And then Kay so dumb. This is what K, I'm telling y'all and what y'all been wanting to know for the longest, what Dage was doing down there. Dage was scared for her life. She was in fear for her life. My daughter was on the phone breaking down a few minutes ago crying to me. Mama, I ain't want nobody to come hurt you. I ain't want nobody to kill me. I ain't have nobody there with me. K left me. I ain't have nobody. I was scared. I was scared for my life. So I just went along with it. I just went along with it. And I took the car and I just, I took, the, I left, you know, I, I left everything else. I just went, I just went along with it because I was scared that they might have somebody come kill you. And I said, you ain't got to worry about that, Deja. You ain't got to worry about that no more. You ain't got to be in fear for your life. She was like, Mama, but you don't know what these people do. You seen they went to the airport for Nino Brown? 
I say, yeah, let them motherfuckers come to Boynton. Let them come to Boynton. We're going to see what, we're going to show them what Boynton can do. Y'all y'all be on there talking about Louisiana, 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 old Baton Rouge, old Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Chicago, all these places. They got all these gangsters, this and that, this and that, this and that. Just because of this talk. You see, he wasn't at that airport. He wasn't at that airport. No, he was not at that airport. He wasn't at that airport because he ain't really about that shit. He be talking about. He be getting them little boys just like, just like, um, what his name is? Kodak, uh, friend, Jack, Jack Boy. Just like Jack Boy said, man, get your boys out them Nikes. Get your boys a car. Them baby back that's sleeping on twin mattresses and shit like that. And then Kodak said, if it was a female, you would probably knock her ass out. And I couldn't, I ain't catch on to all this stuff, you know, all this, all this drama and social media stuff, what was going on until today. I knew my daughter was going to break that silence and tell me. I knew she was going to do it. And I've been praying for it and praying for it. Y'all, but when I seen, when I seen, when I seen the third picture, y'all, when I show y'all, when I seen the third picture, the third picture, I swear to God, I almost passed out in my living room. And now daddy said, Asia, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Please don't make me see it. Now I call now daddy because I'm going to need his help. He said, Adrian, I don't want to see Adrian, please don't make me see it because Deja like my daughter, you know, because now's dad. Now's daddy helped me raise Dave, you know, you know, as she got a little older. And like I said, his mama, she going around here making videos with a Nino Brown when what she really need to be doing is getting her son some help. He around here ruining these. He around here ruining these girls' life, y'all. When I show y'all these pictures, but that's that's y'all favorite rapper though. That's y'all favorite rapper though. He go around here beating up on girls. I'm talking about he knocked my daughter out. If a person don't know they got a black eye, and then he broke her phone. I went to AT and T. They told me. They gave me the location. That's how I got his address from AT and T. I got his address. He he lived. He used to live in Gonzales, Louisiana. I got his address, and um, I reread. You no, know, I read. You know, you know, cause Dage is on my on my plan. So uh, you know, I get the, I get all of that. I I see all of that, but the story just went adding up. Then y'all know the story. When Kay said he sent Baby Joe, Baby Joe went to the mall and beat up Kay. Y'all ain't know that, did y'all? That whoever Baby Joe is, he beat up Kay. And I told Kay she need to call her mama and put the police on his ass and press charges. So right now, Niles' daddy is looking up the statute of limits, the time, the time frame of how long. And they said you got two years. You got two years to press those charges. And uh, I guess the rap said is felony, assault, and battery. I, I'm I'm going to try to get I'm going to try to hit him with kidnapping because you stole my daughter's phone. You broke her phone, but you didn't know I was I could get all that shit. You broke her phone and you kept her head from calling me for two weeks. My daughter was kidnapped in your motherfucking house for two weeks. You kidnapped my daughter in your house to her face here after you brutally beat up my motherfucking daughter. But that's y'all favorite rapper, though. That's y'all favorite rapper, though. Fuck what she was doing down there. Fuck all. Fuck what her intentions was. Fuck all of that. They was in a relationship. Y'all seen it. They both was happy up until she didn't do what he wanted her to do. So he went and punched her from the side and knocked her out. Her whole face is black and blue. Pictures that y'all ain't never seen. And I'm going to show it. I don't care what nobody say. I love Kodak, y'all. I love Kodak. I love Kodak. I love Kodak. Kodak has never disrespected me. When I was in a coma and all that shit, he was like, um, 
asking Dej how am I doing, you know, always trying to worry, you know, he ain't never disrespected me. I always had love for him and Showtime and Jack Boy, they came to my house, him and all them big ass white dudes, but I always had love for Kodak, and y'all y'all, be talking about Kodak, but Kodak, we Floridians, y'all, you know what I'm saying, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta stick together. Well, us Floridians, we gotta stick together. And you know, Kodak has done some stupid things that led him into jail. You understand what I'm saying? But it's not his fault. At least he ain't around here knocking out hoes, beating up women, beating up kids, and all that shit. He in jail for trying to do whatever other type of crime. At least he ain't out here beating up on no women. That fucking uh, Ken Trail. He need to be in fucking prison, y'all. He gonna be in prison. He gonna be in prison. And that's real talk. Y'all be talking about Kodak? Kodak is the Kodak is the one of the realest motherfuckers from what Kodak from Pompano, ain't it? From Pompano that I know. And guess what? Kodak is very smart. I remember Days telling me a story one time. She said, Mama, you know Kodak always told me he knew how to play the piano. But he was so messy in hood, and I didn't believe him. That's what she told me. And I said, but he might do know how to play the piano. And she was like, ma, I didn't believe it. And then it was, she said, she seen somebody tweeted him playing the piano. And it, I think it was a testimony or something like that. And I was like, this is why playing the piano. So y'all be doubting our own people. It's them rooted motherfuckers from Louisiana with all that voodoo and shit that got going on in Louisiana. Now he done moved his ass to California. He just toxic, y'all. He need to be behind bars. Get Kodak out. Who stole? Who, who stole? My daughter ain't stole a motherfucking thing from nobody. I think y'all got it all mixed up. That's K. They were saying that K. They were saying... Oh yeah, I'm leaking pictures. Nene, get off my motherfucking live, you dirty blind asshole! Before I cuss your ass out, talk about I'm doing too much. Oh yeah, I'm definitely leaking those pictures. Yeah, whoever she is, she can get the fuck up off my live, cause I'm going in today. Okay, Benice. Okay, Miss Charles. Okay, you want me to stick to the story? Okay, what I'm saying is. First, get this, get this hoe off my, dude, how you get that hoe off my line? Whoever that, how you, you know, I need to get her off, because I ain't with that shit. No, Dej ain't set him up, and I ain't on here trying to answer, no, no, nobody, no, I ain't, listen, don't come on here, it ain't no excuse. When you have a daughter, when you have a daughter, when you have a daughter, hold on, I don't give a fuck, ooh, husband, I see him, hold on. No, she's not there. She's not with him. Free Kodak. That's right. Free Kodak. Free Kodak. Free Kodak. Free Kodak. But I need blind to get off my live. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know how to block her. I don't know how to work it. Okay. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all talking about she she robbed somebody. They ain't got to rob no motherfucking body. And the robbery took took place at Fredo Bang House. Nobody robbed YB. Who in the fuck robbed YB when he can't even sleep? Then y'all hear Danger Song loaded. You can't even go nowhere. You, you. Oh, Mia, I love Kodak, Mia. I ain't talking bad about him. Pretty Brown, you so cute. Please tell her to get off of him. Please, yes, that's why Sophie was trying to get Dej out of there. Okay, get that hoe off my live before I start, before I be done. Anyway, she probably ain't got no daughter, y'all. But let me get to the story. Let me get to, let me finish the story. His mom goes over, asks him for money. He don't give her no money. She asked him who car was that because it had a red. It was before Dave's even seen the car. See, I, I'm late too, just like y'all. I was I was two weeks late. I didn't I didn't hear from my daughter. She said her phone was broken, so I had to go to AT and T and order her a whole new phone. I didn't know what was going on. Then I started saying people was like hitting me up, telling me, "Oh, mom, did you see this? Did you see that?" I'm like, "What the fuck happened to my daughter?" So I hit Sophie up. 
Yep, that's right, baby. Fuck him. So, um, I hit Sophie up, and Sophie gave me all their numbers, Baby Joe and all these people gave me all their numbers, and I just went to calling them. But apparently, the hairdresser, the hairdresser, um, I, I, I don't know, I can't, I can't really remember who contacted me. They contacted me for my daughter, but it wasn't a full story. It was just like, try. I need a phone, I need to talk to you. My phone broke in. I, that's all I knew at that time when it, you know, like two weeks after he had beaten up my daughter. Okay. As the time, when she came back home, she was happy. And this, that same night, she wanted to get into the studio to make this song. And I'm like, she made, she went in there and made that song, you know, like, Tupac hit him up. She just went in there like that, and I knew she was hurt. My baby was hurt. And now she has broken down and told mommy the truth today. And I'm here to let y'all see how bad he beat up my daughter. And I'm going to post it all on Facebook. And if you're a YB fan, don't come on my page looking. Don't come on my page looking. And then y'all talking about, oh, don't don't bring up Kodak name. He ain't got nothing to do with this. I did not say one bad thing about Kodak. I love that man. He's very smart and he's very intelligent. I love that man. I did not say one bad thing about him. And and for you to be on my live talking about don't talk about him, you probably ain't even related to this man. You probably a fan just like me. So how a fan, how a fan gonna come at me and I'm a fan and tell me don't speak on Kodak. I can talk about that man. I can talk about that man. Oh, yeah, Chloe, I'm going to post these motherfuckers. Yes. Yes, I'm going to post these motherfuckers. My daughter broke down to me 30 minutes ago and told me and sent me everything. And now I'm going to the police. So y'all tell y'all, y'all YB fans, y'all let him know. Exactly, that's what I said. Kodak is the realest. That's what I said. And I'm going to always call him my son.